Hello everyone, welcome back to Tidy Stat YouTube channel. In today's video, let me show you how to calculate the pair samples test using Google Sheets software. Before we dive in into the practical, let's understand what is the paired samples t-test. A paired samples t-test is a statistical test that we use to determine whether there is a significant difference between the means of two related groups. It is also known as a dependent samples t-test or a paired t-test. This test is typically used when you have two sets of measurements taken from the same group of individuals or subjects under different conditions or at different points in time. For example, you might measure the blood pressure of a group patients before and after they undergo a particular treatment, or you might measure the performance of the same group of students on a test before and after they receive a certain intervention. The paired sample t test is appropriate when the following assumptions are met. The first one is the data must be normal. The second one is the paired observations should be independent of each other. And the third one is the homogeneity of the variances. To conduct the paired samples t-test, the first step that you need to do is formulate the hypothesis. The null hypothesis is the mean difference between the first condition and the second condition is zero. The alternative hypothesis is the mean difference between the first condition and the second condition is not zero, or there is a significant difference between the first condition and the second condition. Second, determine the significance level. Usually, the significance level or the alpha is 5% or 0.05. Third, calculate the significance value. Well, to calculate the significance value, you can use this basic formula. But I won't dive into detail because in this case, we will use Google Sheets and let the machine calculate it for us. Last, draw the conclusion. If the p-value is less than the chosen significance level, we reject the null hypothesis. We can conclude that there is a significant difference between the means of the pair observations. If the p-value is greater than the chosen significance level, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. We can conclude that there is not enough evidence to prove that there is a significant difference between the means of the paired observation. And for the exercise, let's consider an example where we want to assess whether a new medication reduces the blood pressures of a group of patients. We have data from 15 patients, each of whom had their blood pressure measured before and after taking the medication for a month. So the data here, I already typed it in the Google Sheets uh, application and let's calculate and perform the paired samples t-test here. To perform the paired samples t-test, we will need a help from an external extensions. To install these extensions, go to extensions menu at the top, click add-ons and then select get add-ons and then search. Sorry, let's wait for a little bit at the search bar, search Excel Miner. Ah, this is one. Excel Miner Analysis Toolpack. You need to install this toolpack because it provides about 20 data analysis statistics procedure. And then click Excel Miner Analysis Toolpack here, the red one, and then click install. Click continue and wait for a little bit. The Google Sheet will continue the installation procedure and just follow the installation process. It depends on your internet connection. Click continue. Select the email that you want to use to continue. Okay, just wait. Okay, sorry, maybe my internet connection is not really good. And click low for the last. Well, uh, great. I think the Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack has been installed in my Google Sheets application. Okay, at the bottom you see Excel Miner and Assistant Pack here, and then click Start. You can see at the right side of your screen, the Excel Miner and Assistant Pack shows the whole surface that it provides for us to do the statistical procedure. To perform the paired samples t test, you see here the t test paired to sample for means. Click it and then you can see the field that shows below the options at the variable one range select the range of the cells for the first condition here let's select the a1 to a16 cells 
with OK and then for variable to range select the second condition to be analyzed select the B1 to B16 cells wait for a little bit OK and hypothesize mean difference just leave it blank and because we include the labels at the first row of our data click the labels options and the alpha is 5% so just leave it 0.05 you can change the alpha according to your needs and then at the output range select the area where you want to show the output here let me show the output at the D1 cell okay and then click OK great your paired samples t-test is already calculated by Google Sheets using the help of the data analysis tool pack now let's interpret this output of our test one by one you can see the mean of the blood pressure before the medication is 138.26 and after the medication the mean decreased to 130.8 the variance of the blood pressure before the medication is 77.20 and after the medication the variance is 81.88 and the observation for both of the paired sample is 15 and the Pearson correlation for these two variable is 0.97 which means there is a highly positive correlation between before medication and after medication of the blood pressure and the hypothesis mean difference is zero because we just leave it blank and we don't need this value to calculate the per samples t-test and the f represent the degree of freedom which means the total of the sample subtract one and the value is 14 and the t-stat is 15.34 the t-stat value will be compared to the t-table to get the conclusion and the interpretation of our test but here it's much easier to get the conclusion and the interpretation of the paired samples to test by using the p-value that this Google Sheet provides below this t-stat rows. See this pt one tail it means the p-value for one tail test and also p 2 tail it means the p-value for two tail test. Let's interpret this value one by one and draw conclusions. Remember our alpha our significance level is 5% or 0.05 we will compare this p-value one by one to these numbers if the number is below the alpha or the significance level we reject the null hypothesis if the p-value is more than the significance level we fail to reject the null hypothesis for one tail test you see the p-value is 0.0000 and so on it means the p-value is so small Compared to the alpha or significance level, the p-value is less than the alpha or less than the 0.05. It means that we successfully reject the null hypothesis. We can conclude that there is a significant difference of the mean of the blood pressure before the medication and after the medication. If we take a look at the two tail test, the p-value is 0.00000 and so on see the value is so small and if we compare this to the alpha or the significance level the p-value is less than 5% or 0.05 we can conclude that we successfully reject the null hypothesis it means that there is a significant difference of the mean of the blood pressure of the patients before the medication and after the medication that's it you can check my analysis video to help you understand SPSS or analysis procedure properly. See you next time.